Hello and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to talk about three uh, crochet pattern designers and we're kicking off with Natalia's Toy Art and she sort of specializes in these realistic crochet patterns for different kinds of dogs like uh, these cute puppies, sort of mastiff kind of uh, bloodhound puppies. I don't know what they're called, but they are adorable and um, very realistic. So this is definitely not a pattern for crochet beginners, but uh, oh, look at this cute little thing. Yeah, it's adorable. Um, it's an elaborate pattern, but uh, the re end result Definitely, definitely makes it worth it. Absolutely adorable. That little nose. Ah, cute. Cute AF. Um, here it is the same. Here's another one, sort of. Uh, she loves the, the folds <laughs> in the dog's uh, dog skin. The details in the shape of the legs is absolutely fantastic. Um, these patterns are, are, well, they're works of art almost. Here's a little St. Bernard, I think they're called. My dog breed knowledge is as bad as my flower breed knowledge. <laughs> that is very cute. Very, very cute. So it's a very special gift for someone should you uh, be inclined to make it. Um, absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> a little <laughs> pin, pin, pince nez. A little, this one is a little bit more cartoonish, but a uh, little hat and, and glasses, very cute. Let's see, I think we're almost there when, uh, oh no, we're not. There's <laughs> a lot more of this uh, Natalia Toys Art. I think this is a little bulldog puppy, an adorable little tail, cute, uh, very cute. And here's a little French bulldog, adorable, cute little face, sweet. And here's a little piggy. So she's not, she specialized mostly in dogs, but she also does um, pigs. Well, this pig anyway. Oh, ah, look at that. They're adorable. <laughs> Very cute. So that's sort of a statue, statuesque. Oh, here's a, here's a Valentine piggy. <laughs> Falling from heaven. <laughs> Look at the little piggy butt. <laughs> it's adorable. He can hang it. It's very cute. Look at that. It's very cute. Nice little hanger. Oh, it's some sort of a Christmas angel. Piggy angel. <laughs> oh, very cute. A uh, little boxer. Uh, back to the dogs. We are... They are full of character, these... Um, um, these patterns, aren't they? A little butt there. Uh, <laughs> very cute. Lots of folds. She loves the dog breeds with lots of folds. And uh, they are very, very adorable. Here's another little, um, what's the word? Round mop sointje. They're little uh, pugs, that's the word. <laughs> little puggy. And this little enthusiastic pups. With the, uh, with, hand, with the paws in the air and the tongue out of the mouth. Ah, very nice. Oh, a little bit sad looking. And then we're moving on to the next designer. This is Pippa Pattern Crochet. Pippa Patterns, um, specializing in, well, as you can probably tell, flowers. So, beautiful. Oh, daffodils. <laughs> And here, um, I don't know what to say. Uh, they're gorgeous and they're they're very gorgeous. <laughs> Good dahlias. They are quite labor intensive, but the, they, you do get a nice um, uh, result off of these uh, patterns. You can make them individually. You can make them into the, the, the almost the flat, um, is a lavender. Beautiful. So you can make them individually as a brooch also, and you can, lemon tree, gorgeous. You can also make them into uh, either a, a full-blown lemon tree <laughs> or a bouquet like this one. Absolutely beautiful. 
lilies. I think I have those planted in my um, balcony garden. Uh, but these last longer and uh, absolutely good. I love the little stamen stems in there. Uh, very nice. Permula. Cute little flower pot. Here's the um, strawberry with both the blossom and the strawberries. Very nice. <laughs> the strawberries that are not ripe yet and the ones that you can just want, can't wait to pluck and eat. Tiger lily, absolutely adorable. These are perfect for also for like a wedding bouquet or something, aren't they? The third and last um, crochet designer I want to discuss with you is Sorella, and she is she is specialized in more of the home goods, practical uh, stuff like this dishcloth. I love the the waffle stitch there, uh, but also like um, afghans and crochet pillows and stuff like that. Here's a little afghan. Nice and a bigger one. Love the color scheme in this one. Very subtle and very cozy. Um, quite adorable. And I think this one is a... Uh, what do you call this? Um, what do you call this? Ah, there's a word for this. I can't think of it. Maybe I can and put it later. But you, know, you can see like the more afghan wonders here. Love the cabling in there. And this is a little bath mat or play mat in this case. It's a great idea for your um, as a little uh, mat for certain areas. Very colorful. Massive yarn used for this uh, colorful uh, afghan. And more of a classic chevron type. Afghan the, the the strength of an afghan or the the coziness is very much dependent on the uh, type of yarn that you use, isn't it? I think this is sort of a table runner. A lovely idea to use different kinds of stitching for that, so you can sort of practice maybe some new stitches or um, include your old ones. Well, that's it for the three designer crochet patterns today. We had Natalia Toy Art, we had Pippa Patterns and Sorella. Very diverse uh, designers, but I do hope you find some stuff that you liked. And I wish you, of course, happy crocheting.